<laughs> you can start waving, Shiva. <laughs> we are now live. Hello, everyone, and um, welcome to what's new and coming up with Lipedema. I am Gail Straker. I am the community manager for Lipedema Simplified, and I am here today with my dear friend and colleague, Siobhan Huggins. Hi, Siobhan. How are you? Hello. I uh, am good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that question for some reason. I, uh, I'm the research specialist <laughs> with the Lipedema Project is what I was going to say. Um, but yes, very good, very busy, uh, which is better than being bored, in my opinion. It, being busy is better than being bored. Although sometimes we have to get bored to get busy. You know, because that's when our sure. brain gets it. So, hi, Kathy um, from Union, New Jersey. Um, so, hello, audience. Hello, our <laughs> wonderful listeners and watchers. If you get a chance, please put your name or your um, location. You want to give a weather report. You just want to for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> right? You can just go ahead and do it. Um, you know the um, old saying, when the cat's away, the mice will play. Well, Mouse Siobhan and Mouse Gail <laughs> are playing <together. laughs> Our cats, cat, actually our cat, Catherine. Oh. Um, I know. See how that works? <laughs> Uh, she is at a, she is in a meeting <clears throat> with some very special people. And um, Leslin is um, on vacation. She's in Tahiti. I mean, maybe I shouldn't tell people that, right? Um, but <laughs> I know, right? But it's like she said, three pairs of shorts and two bathing suits and off she goes. <laughs> <laughs> she is, she is, um, really um she's off the grid we're not talking to her <laughs> we're not talking to her until she gets back in in um at the very end of september and with that um i do want to let you know that if you're used to listening to leslin and coming to her research um her research updates with leslin that this next week she's going to be in tahiti so she's not going to do the research next um up, update this next week also there will be a modified um schedule for october so it, it won't be the standard first and third thursday for lessons um broadcast uh we will let you know so be watching your emails and your and everything to find out when lessons going to be around um in October as well. We have to have some modified schedules because she is very, very busy. Besides, I think, I think most of us are <laughs> in October because I'll be flying out to Germany to start and then I'll be hopping over to Sweden afterwards until November. Um, and then I know there's a whole bunch of different conferences and posters and a whole bunch of different stuff <laughs> going on in October. Plus, the October event that will be coming up. Right. So we do we do have a, a super duper, very busy schedule. And um, I am so happy that the people we have, we have Kathy here. We have Winetta from um, Anchorage, Alaska. She had egg bites and coffee. Nice this choice. Morning. And I know. Um, <laughs> I was like, she stopped at Starbucks. <laughs> Anyway, and then um, Colors here from um, the UK. So welcome, everyone. And we have 10 people, but we know some people just watch and they don't let us know who they are or where they're from, but that's okay. Hi. Um, if you want to give us some thumbs up or some hearts or joy, however you give us joy, <laughs> please do that. So speaking of a busy schedule, so Siobhan... You mentioned something for about a um, any heart to heart event mm -hmm. that will be coming up in um, October, and so I'm going to go ahead and and find my little. <laughs> um, yeah, it's and, October twenty seventh, twenty eighth, and twenty ninth. Yes. Um, yeah, and it's going to be a good old time. 
I think. Um, right. So as you can tell, Siobhan and I, we like to state things in joyful sit sentences without a lot of info. So let me <laughs> know she's researching. Um, so the Heart to Heart event is a three-day event. This will be our third Heart to Heart event, although we have had symposiums and webinars and boot camps and you name it, we've had it. And along about uh, June, Lipedema Awareness Month of 2022, um, Catherine had gone to some training um, courses that showed her a different way to hold events online. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just it wasn't just pre-recorded um, guest speakers with a moderator going you know going in and, and a panel of experts to discuss things, but instead what it was was an interactive event. And so then she pulled me on board and I took the course and I got thrilled. And so in 2022, in our first our first event, because we couldn't call it a webinar, we couldn't call it a symposium anymore. We had to come up with a new name. And out of Leslin's mouth blew, oh, it's heart to heart. It's, you know, we're talking one heart to another heart. And so we called it the heart to heart event and it caught on. What goes on with these wonderful heart to heart events is we talk to each other. It's not just listening and watching like you're watching a movie or you're just watching little little short videos, but it's actually being in a meeting format and you get to talk to other people who deal with lipedema and lymphedema. You get to talk to the experts. We have Q&As. You get to meet at lunchtime and join people who would be a coach or would be a, a consultant. And so through all of it, it's very interactive. However, mm -hmm. if you just want to listen and watch, you can do that too. But this is a great time to make connections. Um, as you can tell, under our name there in the lower right-hand corner, it says learn, connect, and belong. And that is really what we're doing with these heart-to-heart -heart events. So this will be our third one. We have one in the, in the fall, and we have one in the um, spring. The one in the fall is usually very holistic, um, all, all the aspects that um, we need to live well, not just focusing on only nutrition or only um, physical, things mm -hmm. like that. It's, like, it's, it's a well-rounded, fully um, diverse group. And we have some pretty amazing um, experts coming on and patient panels. So you're going to want to be there. So right now we have the registration open and I put that in the comments. So double check that out. Yeah, definitely. And I really appreciate the focus to being able to talk to peers because for one, it definitely does connect a lot with the learn, connect and belong aspect because yes, you're learning from, from experts and people who have plenty of clinical experience and things like that, but then you can connect with your peers, find where you belong in the world and get the peer to peer support that is very, very important. And also like experts are not the only people with information. <laughs> like I've learned so much from the community and I've gotten a lot of encouragement and support from the heart to heart events and interaction, interacting in the breakout rooms and things like that. And it's made me change things that I was doing and gave me the confidence to do that. And like that alone has had a huge impact. Like I was already doing a ketogenic diet, but then getting encouragement to wear compression more often, to go and seek out a lymphatic therapist, that's had a huge impact for me. And it was just people saying, okay, just like, here's one more thing you can do. Just do that and then think about other things later. Right. And, I, and I've noticed that in our heart to heart events that 
we get brand new people, people who were diagnosed the day they started. I just got my diagnosis yesterday. And, mm -hmm. you know, and I joined this because they said, check out Lipedema Simplified. And all of a sudden, boom, here you guys are. And so they are brand new, full of questions, full of confusion, not knowing what, what where to even start. And then there are um, other members of our community who've been around a few years, right? And mm -hmm. they didn't realize they'd forgotten some of their questions, right? Because they've gotten into a routine. And the new, the new members of the community are saying, oh, but what about this? And they and and the ones the more seasoned members have gone. Oh, I, I totally forgot about that. So um, you can yeah. You can I actually <laughs> I have a personal experience with that because um, I went to low carb San Diego for work, and I ended up talking to a woman there who actually has lipedema, and it turned out as we were talking back and forth. Um, but she actually lives about 20 minutes away from me. So it's like, oh, well, when I get back home, we should meet up <laughs> at some point. Like there's like, why wouldn't we? Um, so we started doing that. And I was talking to her during one of those meetings about my thoughts on lipedema and what I think might be happening. And she asked a question, well, what about, you know, this part? And I was like, I'm really glad you asked that because <laughs> like, it's again, like when you're either focusing on yourself or focusing on a specific topic, you can like get deep down into the rabbit holes and it takes someone else with a fresh perspective um, to come in and be like, well, what about this part? And it was really helpful to me. And I started thinking about different things and like circling back to it. And so from like the like researcher perspective as well interacting with other people and getting those good questions from a fresh perspective or from people who have been in it for a while and are rediscovering their questions is really helpful because like we need all the questions we could possibly get about lipedema because that's how you do research you start with questions right right and not only that's about research but then sometimes we can we can go from research and ask more questions. And so it's mm -hmm. sort of branching out. And we can also realize how different, even though we are all dealing with lipedema, how very different we are. Mm -hmm. How non-judgmental, how we're all dealing with the same thing and wanting to help each other out. Mm -hmm. um, by asking the question, you realize the like when people ask me questions, I realize, oh, I need to step back just because I don't experience that. I need to now show compassion and understanding for someone who is dealing with that particular item. And so it really makes me stronger emotionally. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so the wisdom is in the patient, we say, and the wisdom is in the community. And I say, we say that Dr. Carmody, Dr. <laughs> Carmody says that, and we all use it. Yeah, so we just repeat what he says. We repeat what he says. He's, a, he's fabulous. And so I just want, I just want everybody to know that I did put the link to register in the comments. And um, we are really looking forward to it. Um, that's only one thing that we're doing in um, October, but moving toward heart to heart, we have something very exciting coming up on Monday. Um, everyone is invited to a free webinar. And this webinar is, um, so it's Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, you are so invited to come register for this. And, um, I I want to let you know who's going to be there. Lisa Drure, who is our our managing director, and um, Sean Bigby, mm. who is 
the lipedema mama on Instagram. Ooh, I so, like Sean. I know. I love Sean. <laughs> anyway, we have all of us, Catherine, Leslie, all of us follow Sean Bigby, right? We, it, but she's called the lipedema mama. And I have been... I have been seeing her name and seeing her a lot longer than she's been seeing me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she and Lisa are going to talk about how when you're a caregiver, whether it, and it, we, we're approaching it as like parenting. And, but if you're a caregiver and you're taking care of people and you're taking care of yourself at the same time, how to juggle all of it. Mm -hmm. And so even if you're not a even if you're not a parent or a grandparent, but maybe you are taking care of a spouse or a friend or a full-time business. Mm -hmm. you know, it's 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 like we are the caregivers as well. And how are we going to juggle all of that? And how are we effective? And so it's a it's going to be a wonderful webinar and that i'm going to put the that um link in the in the um comments now i have not seen these two present together Me and I, I know these they're they're both new to our um our group. So it's not like you're going to see me and Siobhan there, you know, <laughs> doing our thing. And these are two, two people who I have never seen work together. I am, I can't wait to see. Um, yeah, me too. I'm to definitely, you. definitely going to be tuning into that one. Um, because it's like, I haven't had kids yet, but I would like to. And it's like getting, again, it's like the peer aspect of, okay, you've gone through this. How did, how did you do it? <laughs> like, how, <Yeah>. help. <laughs> and, and, you know, like Catherine always says, uh, we've made it through, well, not you, but, you know, the rest of us have made it through menopause. You know, we've, we've gone through the perimenopause and all this other stuff. So we're a bunch of old gals talking to a bunch of old gals, right? I mean, there's, there's nothing to be shamed about that. And then we have Siobhan in her 20s. And we're going, wait a minute. We have, we have, there are so many women that we would really like to help before they get to perimenopause or to mm -hmm. menopause, you know, maybe before they even get to pregnancy when they're young and they're first starting out, we want to help them. We want to, we want to let them know, okay, you, you might be in stage one or stage two. Let's get you managing this disease now yeah and let's the support that you need now because yeah. even in the earlier stages it is something to deal with like something you know that you're going to be dealing with for life and having a support group as early as possible who's like i get it i was where you were or i'm where you are right now is really helpful because there's many people who don't like have never experienced having lipedema and they don't get it. So not having to explain yourself, not having to be, it's this, like, this is what it is. Like just saying I'm in pain today or I'm swelling today, or I'm sick of dealing with this and other people being like, yep, I get it. Well, and you know, it's the other people saying, yep, you get it. I have seen so many pictures on Facebook where there's all here are all their friends, them and their friends. And, you know, we're very aware that we don't look like our friends mm -hmm. as we go to the beach or in dresses or even, you know, just a group photo. And we're busy dealing with um, the legs that we that we deal with, you know, and we whether it's we're hiding behind people in pictures or or we can't make it up that flight of stairs and we, so we take the elevator because our legs are sore and, and there's all these things and we've been doing it i've been doing it anyway since i was in my 20s 
Mm-hmm. And I'm 63. So I've been doing it for 40 years. Right. And I think about, I think back and I think, I wish somebody would have said, Gail, you can make things, life could be a little easier for you. Don't go, don't go until you're 60 years old or, you know, 57 years old before you find out, oh, that's what's going on with my body. Learn Mm -hmm. now. And so we are, um, as the with Lipedema Simplified, we are trying to reach out to a, um, a younger demographic as well, so that we can all help our um, our community members live a better life. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to pick up some of these comments that are in the that I that I see here. I see that. Um, Marilee's here from Pacific Northwest and Alicia's here from Winnipeg. Hi, Alicia. Um, and then we have Christy. She's from, I want to say CA. So I'm assuming it's California, not Canada. Hi, Christy. And then, um, Mare is here. She says, I just want to hear the gals speak today. I am in such bad pain with lipedema. Compression hurts sometimes and I can barely walk. Well, hello, Mayor. And I am, um, I am sad to hear that you're in, um, pain today. Lipedema is painful. The, um, compression hurts because it's tight. Hopefully Mm -hmm. you have have, um, a well-fitting compression. And if you don't have well-fitting compression, I'm hoping that you can find either a good fitting if you need a a custom fit or you can find another brand that doesn't hurt. But if it's just from the pressure and because of overall lipedema pain, we might we might be able to talk about something that could um, help with that. Mm -hmm. We, we, in fact, we were going to discuss, we'd like to pull up a topic that isn't just spreading the news about our programs, but things that we've dealt with. And um, I do know that some of our women get relief from using CBD. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that for a bit. Okay, Siobhan? Yeah. Um, And so in terms of CBD, usually what I hear talked about is topical application, which basically means you're taking a salve and you're putting it on your skin. Um, And the reason people would do that is you're basically applying it directly to the area where it hurts. And with CBD, there's multiple things that I do like about it. I tend to be more on the cautious side, especially in terms of things that we're using long term. So we want to make sure there's going to be low side effects if possible and that it's going to be effective. And so I have heard other people bring up trying things like Tylenol or Advil. And for one, those can have long-term side effects that maybe we don't want to add on to our things to worry about. But then also at the same time, they're talking about, and it doesn't help. It doesn't actually provide pain relief from the lipidema related pain. Um, But with CBD, it's the total opposite where it does seem to be effective for a lot of people. Um, And then, I mean, as far as I've read in the research, I haven't come across any actual serious side effects um, in that's including with long-term use. So I like it for those reasons. Um, oh, and Mare followed up. She said, thank you, Gail. Yes, I have good fitting compression from an MLD therapist. I broke out now from the foot compression that you have to wear with it. I see. Um, so, um, yeah. So, I'm not sure if the, if the, you say you broke out. So you might talk to your um, fitter and see if there's a sock or a, or a liner 
mm. that you can wear between between your skin and the um, compression. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you, if the breakout is actually painful, hopefully you don't have to wait too long before those wounds heal. Please, please keep track of your skin. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's vital to to do a skin check. And if you're because one thing you don't want you do not want cellulitis. Mm-hmm. You don't want those your breakout area to become infected and please make sure that you get you you get that those skin breakouts taken care of um your your general practitioner might be able to give you something for it a dermatologist could be your just your um certified lymphatic therapist whoever fit you for for that might be able to help you get either a good moisturizer or a good um, cream to put on to put on your um, wounds to help those that breakout resolve so that you can and then give you a liner or something. So I would bring that up with the person who um, prescribed the fit the um, compression. So please take good care of those feet. (laughs) Yeah. And for me, like a trick that I'll do, if it's just like contact dermatitis or something, or my doctor's just like, Oh, keep an eye on it. I'll take my phone and I'll take a picture because like the common thing we did when I was growing up is you like circle it in Sharpie. So you can tell like where it's at and all that. Now I just take pictures and then it's automatically dated. So I know when I took it. And then I can take a follow-up picture and compare, like, is it getting better? Is it worse? And then if it does get worse, I can send both pictures to my doctor. Usually I'll just text him. Yeah, that's a, that's a great idea, Siobhan. And I know for me, because I do really well with, I'm going back to CBD. I do really well with CBD. Mm -hmm. Um, I shouldn't just say that the CBD that I use, I do really well with. And and we um, do have a CBD consultant um, that that works closely with the um, members of our community, and he he knows. I mean, I think everything a person can know about <laughs> CBD, and he can he can tell you if it's a good quality. He can tell you if you know if. If it's something that that you want to purchase or not, you take a pic. He says, he says, take a picture of, take a picture of um, the label and send it to me, and I can tell you all, all about it. And what it does for me, anyways, is I get I get contact dermatitis right across this finger. I know every time I pull us a pull a suitcase or I open a cardboard box. I end up with just this ridge of stuff, you know, itchy, bleedy stuff. And I find that this particular CBD salve, um, I put it on there, go to bed and and it's gone in the morning. Um, And and Mare did say, um, thank you, I did take a photo. Okay, all right, good, yay, I'm so happy about that. And keep track of that. Um, So, there's more to CBD though than I think meets the eye because mm-hmm. I think for some of us we just go oh yeah it's snake oil how can it how can it fix so many things but the CBD that that um, we focus on using is a full spectrum CBD that's organically grown and that has very few other things in it full spectrum simply because it has so many um, other compounds that are just naturally in the the organically grown CBD, the hemp plant. And, And so I don't know how CBD works if it's isolated and then put back into a compound. Mm -hmm. So when I talk about CBD, I'm talking about a full spectrum, um, 
with with very few other ingredients, you know, to make the salve or to make the the capsules or whatever. So that when we're talking about CBD, that's what we're talking about. Just to let you know. Yeah. And from the information that Brian has provided, um, I did end up finding a local place and kind of got happy with what they had. Um, and another thing that I find interesting about CBD, just from my own personal experience, um, that I haven't seen a lot of other people talk about, and I wonder if they've experienced the same, is if I ingest CBD, so not the salve, but like the capsules, um, I find that if I'm swelling a lot, it can actually help decrease that swelling. And I first started noticing it because I noticed whenever I would take CBD, I would suddenly have to go to the bathroom a lot. <laughs> and it's wow. when I started learning about lipedema that I was like, wait a minute, that's how you get rid of fluid. And I also found that when I took it, like my legs were aching less, my arms were aching less like all of this stuff. So it's like, oh, it seems like for me at least, it's decreasing the amount of swelling that I have. And so now when I am swelling more, um, like if I have too much dairy, for example, which I'll periodically do here and there, um, or just like it's really hot out, I'll take some CBD and it will help. And if I'm having like any leg aching or anything like that, it'll also help with that. And I wonder if those two are connected. So it's something to think about and something I'm wondering if other people experience as well. Right. And I know for me with CBD, I started after I heard um, Brian, um, I'm going to put his, I'm going to put his um, email up for anybody who who wants to talk to our CBD consultant, since we do have one um, who works with, with with our group. And I put it also in the chat, in the, in the comments. But he had said something about, in, in one of his presentations, about one of these extra compounds that kept, um, you know, that kind of relieved itching. Mm. Now I I didn't even I didn't think much about it at all. But then I got to thinking, my hands always itch. Always. Oh, I mean, I'm always digging at the back of my hands to the point where it's like it's almost like the op it's like instead of athlete's foot, it's like athlete's hand. I mean, I I mm -hmm. have done that my whole entire life, just itchy, 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 itchy. And um I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try this C B D. It's it's a snake oil. It's not going to work. I'm going to try it, you know, and I'll be out. I'll be done. And then you'll be proven right. <laughs> right. Experiment. CBD snake oil. I'm not taking it. So um, my aunt, Aunt Sandy, decided that she would get, she she had two introduction pack packages, one with the tincture and, and one with the capsules. And so I took her tincture because she didn't want it. I don't know what she was up to, but. I started taking and I started taking it and um, my hand stopped itching. Mm. But my legs stopped jumping at night. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. And we, I slept better. Hmm. <laughs> thinking, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then when I get home from chorus, my, oh, my feet are, I'm so sore because I've been on my feet for three hours, right? My mm -hmm. feet are sore, my legs are sore, my knees hurt, I my hips hurt. I mean, so I, and the backs of my knee, I mean, I, wherever it itches and whichever it feels tight, and that's where I use the salve, you know, I, and I was like, Oh, my feet feel so much better. Hmm. And so now I go, oh, yeah, CBD snake oil. But it's a snake oil I'm going to take because it works. Now, see, yeah, if I mean, if it was just that my hands stopped itching. I would think placebo effect. Mm -hmm. But I can write a whole list of stuff 
that's helped. And it's because I truly believe it lowered my inflammation. Mm -hmm. So how does it lower the inflammation? I don't know. But ask maybe, Brian. <laughs> ask Brian, right? But also, I know women in our community who have taken the CBD. And if you're on here and you've taken the CBD and it's helped, let us know. And if even if it even if it hasn't, let us know. Yeah. But if you've taken a, a high quality CBD, because I'm thinking there's something to be said about this. We have women who have, were not able to even get to their mailbox, to, who could not go out, hardly go outside. They were afraid to go to the grocery store for fear they would be in so much pain. And now they're running errands and they are attributing it to the CBD. So yeah. whether it's the swelling, the lymph flow, I'm thinking it has, there's something that's going yeah, on. There's something. High quality CBD. And the reason we bring it up is not to like say, go buy CBD or to try and sell anything. Cause Brian will help you like interpret stuff if you want to buy from somewhere else. Or like if you're overseas, for example, then maybe his stuff isn't available. Maybe something local would work or there's strict regulations, all of that type of stuff. It's more just to talk about like things that we learn from the community and things that we're learning about ourselves to give people more options of things to try. Because like sometimes things happen. Sometimes we travel, sometimes storms come through, sometimes dietary stuff happens. And having a toolbox that you can open up immediately and know what you're gonna do and what works for you and what doesn't work for you, it makes management easier to already know ahead of time, like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Like I have a, a flare plan. I have like a swelling plan. If I know that I'm swelling, I have things that I pull out and tools that I use and things that I go through. And I already have that figured out ahead of time. So I don't have to think about it in the moment. Cause when you're already stressed out and in pain and swollen, the last thing you want to do is like, and now I've got to figure out what to do. Right. Right. And, um, I was going to say, Winnetta is on here today and Winnetta is, um, one of our, I was going to say one of our regulars, <laughs> she's, she's one of our regulars and she does a lot of research also. And she says it reduces cytokines and T cell proliferation as per an NIH study. NIH. Help me out with NIH. National um, Institute of Health. National Institute of Health study. Okay. I think, I think that's I think true. So I think so too. So, um, and there's a lot of research out there on CBD and we actually will have, I do believe Brian will have a web, I'll have a webinar. Um, <laughs> she says, just pulling up my bar stool. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. one thing, one thing in terms of CBD, because you mentioned it offline, Gail. So this is important to mention. Um, talk with your doctor first, especially because um, if you're on any medications, there may be certain things where you have to like keep a closer eye on things. So in terms of adding anything, always talk to your doctor first or changing anything get the okay or we'll keep an eye on you keep them in the loop um and that includes with cbd as well right and and i know that uh one time you and cat you and leslin were talking about um exogenous ketones mm -hmm. and we were like well what do you you know which kind do you suggest whenever and that's another thing we always have to make sure that when we do something like this that we are we get our doc to monitor us. And, yeah. and I, I know that um, we've, we have a member of our community who um, is on warfarin, Coumadin, and they had to um, clear it with their pharmacist every time they opened a new bottle of, of tincture so that, mm. so that, the pharmacist was aware to be watching on how the 
Coumadin and the um, CBD were react, you know, how they, how the Coumadin was reacting to the CBD intake. And so there are certain medications that might need to be adjusted or monitored if you're going to start something like CBD or um, a ketogenic way of eating, because it can lower your, you know, that can lower your blood pressure really quickly. And, and so, you know, you do need to um, make sure that you are you are, um, using your wisdom. Um, let me see. I'm gonna, I'm, this is a lot. Um, Jenny says, I've been in a, on a low carb, I've been in the low carb keto space since 2017. Me too. Happy sixth year. Yeah, 2016 for me, so pretty close. Yeah. I recently saw a video that made me realize I'm pretty sure I have the Bedema. Welcome, Jenny. Welcome to the club, Jenny. Yeah, welcome. Many gels went off. Fortunately, because of my connection to keto, I knew about your work already. I just didn't know that I had it. I'm trying mm. to figure out how to get diagnosed. The closest doctor on your finder is um, in Cincinnati has phone numbers that are now disconnected. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I'm thinking I might be able to educate my nurse practitioner if she's not aware of the condition and go from there. Right. And so do that. Get your, um, get, we have a, we have a, a link to a clinician situation. Let me see if I can pull that up real quick. So yeah, talk, clinician directory. Yeah. And, uh, Talk amongst yourselves while I go grab a, a link. I think I've got something for everybody for that. For their yeah. clinic. Yep. Um, and then there are also some low carb clinicians who do have um, like uh, remote services available who are aware of lipedema um, and are starting to diagnose now after going to low carb conferences and seeing certain people. Oh, speak. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, like Dr. Tro. Yeah, Dr. Tro and then uh, Brian Linskis as well. Okay, um, but they're, they're fabulous. They're they're yes. fabulous. Yeah. Um. So okay. So what I'm what I am going to what what I am going to post right now is um a a link for you to go over. Look at it first and see if it's something that you would like to take to your clinician. Um, this gets cl clinicians connected to clinicians, talking to clinicians about it, because your, your nurse practitioners, your general practitioners might go, oh, yeah, patients, is patients are telling me about lipedema. I'm only going to listen with half an ear. But here's a um, clinician to clinician link. Oh, mm -hmm. Eileen says she's losing her hair. Um, yeah, and and fractal beans has gone carnivore for two months. Great results. Yeah, baby. I like carnivore too. Although I can't emotionally stay on carnivore for very long <laughs> because because <laughs> usually something happens like nuts. Or berries. <laughs> yeah, and nuts are always the thing that comes you know, up. They pop into my um, and then when it also asked, um, are ketones an inflammation reducer? I would say ketones can help regulate inflammation because it depends on the context in which they're present. Um, but they do a bunch of things which may ultimately have the result of reducing inflammation, like they can help supply energy. Um, to tissues, even when oxygen is low, things like that. And if you reduce cellular stress and cellular damage, then infl lower inflammation would be the result of that. Um, okay, and Gail. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I'm reading I'm reading this stuff, so I look like I'm I'm got a frown on my face. Sorry, I was I was. Registered. No, no. What I was about to say is we're almost about to hit 45 minutes, which was the predictable outcome of us being left alone. 
Oh, they, you know, you're right. They leave us alone and then we just go from there. So I am going to give these lovely, these lovely audience members of ours um, one more link and it's called the Lipedema Guide. And if, if it doesn't work, let me know, send me an email. Um, because I do want you guys to, to have it. Um, let's see. What does this say from Gloria? She says, I is such, I was essentially diagnosed in 1963 when my doctor told me not to try to lose more weight. He said you would become emaciated on the top and still heavy on the bottom. Wow. Yeah, that is wow. incredibly observant of your doctor, especially at that time period. Like that's only 20 years after lipedema was, I mean, even without knowing what lipedema is, just saying like, you got to stop. <laughs> like this is not going to end well. Seriously, girl, I was three years old in 1963. So you, I mean, 60 years mm -hmm. ago, you were told, that's crazy. And she said, wow. I didn't know it had a name until last year. So she just had that information, but not actually what it was. Wow. I want to, I want to know more about you. Um, I really do. I want to, I want to know all, this. I want to, I want to know everything Gloria Gross. So, <laughs> because that's fabulous that you were told that by a doctor. And um, so I'm going to, <laughs> feel free, I'm going to throw my email, I'm going to throw my email out there, hon, because I think yeah. that's. I think everybody wants to know more about Gloria at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Gloria. There's a song about Gloria, right? And I'm just <laughs> no, that's that's fascinating that you have been carrying that that bit of knowledge around for a very long time, and then just found out recently that it has a name. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I want to hear your story. So um, here's my email, and it's not just for Gloria. Anybody else want to share your story with me? Um, Gail at lipedema simplified.org. And that should be easy enough for you to remember, right? Siobhan, can I give him your email too? Yeah. It's, Let me, uh, I'll throw it on there. Yeah. Um, I've got maybe, did I erase you? I know. So, <laughs> no, you're at the top. You're at the top. <laughs> Now, Siobhan, so I do lipedema-simplified.org, but Siobhan is strictly Siobhan at lipedemaproject.org. There's no hyphen in that one. So please, you have a story you want to share with us, um, write it. Is it? It's Gail, as in G-A-I-L. Yep, that would be me. It's Gail, not Gail. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Juan, you're a steep. You're a steep. Okay, okay. I've, I've got to exit yeah. this line. I'm, I'm just becoming. <laughs> we, are, we are getting a little bit um, goofy. I can tell because I can see my cheeks starting to flush. <laughs> I've been laughing too much. Um, we have been here for 50 minutes, you guys. Um if we if we would have been here with less than we would have been off of here a good 30 minutes ago because less than is our timekeeper and um but but less of course less than dr less than key um she has things to do <laughs> um she's got things to do apparently we have nothing to do except talk i i love talking um because it because it lets me know that I'm still alive. <laughs> I used to tell, oh, you guys, I used to tell people, um, 
they'd say, why do you talk so much? I'm like, that way I know I'm still alive. They said, well, if you're just asleep. I said, I talk in my sleep too. <laughs> Uh, oh, Gloria just found out about us. Just found you about five minutes ago. Mwah. Yeah. Well, welcome. welcome. Brand new. Um, and we do want to hear your story. Eileen, um, it's good to see you. I know you're in Puerto Rico and you're working hard to support all of all of the, the Lipedema community in Puerto Rico. Let's see who else is out here that I didn't get to say hi to. And then we're going to sign off. Winetta, Eileen, Fractal Beans, Jenny. Um, shorts here. Linnell, um, she's here. Um, she wants to talk about Mucinex. How about, um, Linnell, how about if we talk about Mucinex the next time? Would you be, would you be up for that? Because, um, we, we do, I do got to get off of here. We've been here for 50 minutes. Um, and Eileen, let's talk about your hair next time or write an email to, to Siobhan because she's more of a, a um, keto person than I am. Nancy, good. Thank you for your comments about um, your feet and, and taking care of the, with the compression on the feet. And with that, let me go down here to the last one. Um, Siobhan, are there studies of the type of lipedema fat cell tissue, how exactly they differ from normal fat cells? Um, that's a good question for Siobhan. It's also a good question for Leslin. If you can wait for a couple of weeks, you can write an email to Leslin. She's, she's Leslin at Lipedema Project or send it to me or Siobhan and we'll get that to Leslin. That's a good question for um, one of her research updates. Mm -hmm. And um, Texas is in the house. And um, oh my gosh, too many questions are coming in now. So I got to go look at the questions, you guys. <laughs> and with that, um, <laughs> there are not many lipedema clients in Carol's business. I mean, that life expectancy is shorter. Okay. Lots of questions, um, fractal beans, but we love them. So you're going to keep asking them. You can send us questions at our emails. But with that, I tell you, we have got to get off of here or we're going to be. No, no, no. Don't apologize. Don't apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about how good questions are good. Good questions are good. We um, just put them like in our bag and then we pull them out later. And like Gloria says, she's 86 and she's still raring to go. <laughs> yeah. been the other thing is like just a quick thing and then we'll sign okay. off. But in terms of the care homes, I actually know someone um, who was diagnosed while in a care home. Um, so it may just be that there are people with lipedema in care homes they're just not diagnosed or diagnosed as being obese things like that and i also know that lipedema um it seems as though lipedema is is in some way protective from metabolic um metabolic syndrome often many of us are don't end up becoming diabetic we might be pre-diabetic but we don't end up becoming diabetic even though our weight's been heavy are, we seem to have some type of um, metabolic um, protection because our weight isn't around our middle. It's around our hips. So maybe we don't end up in care homes. I don't know. It's a good question. Maybe we need to start doing some studies. So I know it's, it's wonderful. Gloria, 86. Rock on, girl. Um, but with that, I am going to hang I'm going to hang up now. <laughs> um we do we do love being here with you guys. We're glad that you're here. We're glad that you ask questions. Um and we'll get, we're going to see you again. I have let's see Catherine has a broadcast on Sunday. I have a um broadcast on Tuesdays. Um, Leslin does every other Thursday. Um, 
and Siobhan's here with us on Fridays. And so we are here for you just on Facebook and YouTube lives. We have free webinars. We have events happening all the time. Mm -hmm. So please, please, if you haven't gone to our, our website yet, go to the website, take the quiz, um, get on our email list and you will find out more and more and more about what we're up to here at Lipedema Simplified and Lipedema Project. So with that, we love you. You're why we're here. And so it's good to see you. Thank you so much. See you next time. See you next time.